Hi there, Laura here from Get Organized HQ. And if there's one thing I love, it's like organizing bins and baskets. I have several favorites. And in this video, I wanna talk about the difference between products from the container store, which tend to be on the more expensive side and organizing products from the Dollar Tree that you can get, I was gonna say for literally a dollar, but actually recently they've gone up to $1.25, but still very affordable. So what does your money get you when you splurge on the container store versus like, what are you sacrificing if you get the cheap ones? And in one case, I will tell you, spoiler alert, I actually prefer the cheaper item from the Dollar Tree. So I just wanna help you make the wisest decisions when it comes to investing in organizing bins. All right, so if you can see me over these bins, first up is my first comparison. Oh my goodness, this is my absolute favorite. Now, if you followed me for any length of time, I am sure you've heard about like my ultimate favorite organizing bins, which are these multi-purpose bins from the container store. I often say, if I were stranded on a desert island and could only have one organizing bin, this would be it. They are incredibly versatile. I have used them in all manner of places, pantry, offices, kids' rooms, closets, garage, car, under the sinks. Um, they're just really versatile. And uh, you'll see here that they are like a clearish plastic. They have a handle, which is nice. And they're open top, so it's easy to get things out of. The size is just really nice, like how um, deep they are. It's just the perfect depth. These are like Avery labels. Um, paper and binders go in here very nicely. As you can see, they have four sizes. So this one right here is the medium size. This is the large size. They look pretty similar, but of course the large is a couple inches bigger. Then this is the small. The small is very narrow for small things, obviously. And this is the extra large. The extra large is actually deeper than any of the others. It's the only one that ha is a little bit deeper and that's so that you can turn it this way and you can literally put hanging files in this one. So those are your size options when it comes to these. When you mix and match, everything just looks clean and orderly. Um, so let's talk about what the dupes are from the Dollar Tree. And I should also say, when it comes to organizing products at the container store, these are some of the more affordable ones there. So these are not super splurges. Like if I try to get an acrylic or a wooden bin, it would cost way more than these. So you can check out the link down below to see how much uh, these would cost you. You can get them, if you order them online, you can get them individually or in cases of 12, which I like to do because like I said, use these everywhere. Um, so they are not terribly unaffordable, but anything you get from the Dollar Tree is still gonna be cheaper than these. So now, the first thing I wanna say, when it comes to the Dollar Tree is there really isn't what I would consider like an exact dupe. I couldn't find anything exactly like this. I've also searched all sorts of other places, Amazon, Target, Walmart, and I haven't really found a great dupe that is just quite like it. So you're gonna have to make do with the closest dupe you can find. So I have a few options if you're looking for an alternative that are about as close as I can find. So we have these, um, they're not quite a square. I think they're a little bit rectangular. They have these circle cutouts. Um, you can see here, I'm gonna go ahead and move this extra large one out of the way. Um, but you can see here that this red bin here is gonna hold quite a bit less than this one because uh, this one is much deeper and taller, but it could still hold some of the same items as, um, th as something like this could. I also wanna note when it comes to things at the Dollar Tree, this plastic is much more, like I can push it in. It's much more, I would almost say flimsy. I still think it's adequate unless I'm gonna put like some sort of weights in there or something. I have no complaints about the sturdiness, but I will say this is even sturdier. Then we have the color. So these at my local Dollar Tree, um, these were the options that I had available to me. I personally, it's totally a matter of preference, I do not prefer these colors nearly as much as this clear. Like they look kind of more like you'd see in like a classroom, if you ask me. They're really bright. I don't, I, I don't know if there's a reason they're that way. I would much, I much prefer this clear color. Um, for me, I would choose the blue. I think it's the 
most pleasing of these colors, but that's something to note. I also want to note in general for this entire video, um, it was actually my mom who I sent shopping for me and she had to go to three Dollar Trees to even find these. So when it comes to shopping at the container store, they have had these multi-purpose bins for years and years and years, and I always have them. I can just go online at any time and order them, or I have a store for me personally that's only about an hour away. I can go into the store and get them as well. Um, for the Dollar Tree, sometimes they have these. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes I have to go to five stores to get them, things like that. So acquiring them, especially if you want a lot of them, is difficult. You can shop online. They don't have everything online and a lot of times they have minimum quantities of like 12. So if you need like 14, that's incredibly annoying. <laughs> um, so it's just easier to get exactly what you want at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so this is one option that we have. Um, this is another option. It's a little bit closer in size. Now you can still see though, couldn't, I mean, I couldn't put them in this way. I could put these in this way and we could come pretty close to storing the same amount of things in this bin. Um, you can see it's a little bit harder because there's more holes in this bin and it's also not like, look, it's gonna do that. Um, so it doesn't have quite as much sturdiness on its own. I think if I wanted it to stand up, I'd have to do something kind of like that. Um, so that's one thing to point out about it. The other thing is, okay, well, I think I could fit these and I'm just gonna go ahead and do it uh, for you. So you can see like, can we really fit the same amount of stuff? Um, in here and I use these kind of behind me on my office shelf. They're a little low I don't think you can see them. Um, these are just all of my like print on type labels um, Which I do love and I use regularly. Okay, awesome. So they all fit in there. I could probably fit a, two or three more um, So I probably could fit two or three more in here. Whoa, <laughs> okay, but it is like I said Very, you know, you got to be pretty careful about how you do it um but this is going to take up quite a bit more space. I'm trying to see if I can figure out how to best show you. So look at how much more space this mint green one is taking up than this one. So while I could fit the same amount of stuff from this bin, it's going to take up more space on my shelf. To me, that's a bit of a negative, especially if you're trying to maximize your space. If you live in a smaller space with less storage, that's going to be a negative for you. Um, also, look at how slanted these are. I feel like anything that has a pretty big slant to it is wasting space because I only have this much space on the bottom and it's just, there's gonna be wasted space if I stack these side by side. I'm gonna to have to remove these just so that it doesn't flop over as I'm trying to show you this. Um, so, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, this is all wasted space. I would much prefer the basket go closer to straight up and down. Um, these are not quite straight up and down, but very close to it. You can stack them, but the slant is so small that you can't really see it. And the purpose, one of the main reasons why these bins, any organizing bin has a slant to it at all is for shipping purposes. So it takes up way more space and therefore incurs way more cost if they can't stack them at all. And it's also a little bit easier if you're not using every single one and you're storing them if they stack and nest. Um, so these are like really maximizing space, whereas these are not. Okay, and the last dupe for these that I found that I think you could, again, they're not exactly a dupe, but you could use them in the same situation are these like, I don't know if they're supposed to be laundry baskets. I mean, if you use them as laundry baskets, you don't have a lot of laundry, um, but you could use them for like small loads. They have a handle. Um, hold on, the handle's kind of stuck. There we go. Okay, so these are your options. Um, I don't know that I could, let's see could kind of put the, the same thing. Some of the other things like these, this bin, this small bin, I just have kind of, I don't even know, um, random stuff. These are crafting items. This is for uh, chalking. I do like chalk art basically. So like, yes, I could totally fit these in, no problem because it's like just a bunch of, I don't know if random is the right word, but different sizes. These are not uniform, no problem on that. I could hold even more. But again, this is gonna take up a little bit more space and also, I just don't prefer the color and the look of these, but I think this could be a pretty close dupe in some situations. You're also not gonna be able to subdivide quite as much. So like if I was organizing my pantry and I wanted um, to like really categorize things, like I want the green beans here and I want the peas here or something like that, that's gonna be harder to do. You're gonna have to have 
bigger grouping. So I'm gonna have to put all of my green beans and peas and like maybe all my canned vegetables in one instead of being able to do green beans here and peas here because again, you'll see how this takes up less space. I just think a kind of square rectangle shape is more efficient than a round. The round is a little bit less efficient. So I thought it'd be really fun to take it even a step further and literally show you exactly how this would be. So here is my pantry with the multi-purpose bins. This is literally how I organize my pantry. It's the easiest way that I have found to do it. And if I had to do this from the Dollar Tree, these are the closest dupes I could find from going to three different Dollar Trees. This is how I would do it. And here you can see the difference in the two. Um, here's what it looks like with the Dollar Tree. Um, here's how I organized it there. And here is what I could not fit in the Dollar Tree. All right, so next up I have these poly envelopes. Now I have an entire video on poly envelopes and how I use them. You might be surprised all the different uses for them. So go ahead and check out that video if you wanna learn more about these. But let's talk specifically about the differences in the Dollar Tree versus the container store. So um, the container stores are very much more than you would spend on these, especially because most people, you're not just gonna use one of these. Like there are places where I use 20 or 30. You're gonna use a lot. If you're doing that, that savings is going to be um, adding up. Then let's talk about the Dollar Tree. So this is the closest dupe. They actually do have completely clear ones and they come in a package of three, just so you can see. Um, I will open these. So here is their package of three. Um, I will tell you that this is certainly flimsier, I would say, like you can tell it's flimsier and it's a little bit more uh, cloudy than the container store. However, I have no problem with it. The snap works great. I bet you that if I use these all the time, I would eventually need to replace some of them. They would tear quicker, but like there is no reason why I would pay three, four, five times as much for these when I can just use the cheap version. And the stuff in there is gonna help them stand up. Um, so I really have no complaints about this Dollar Tree one. I think it is worth the savings. I will also, to complicate matters a little bit more, I will also say that where I actually do get these, the container store sells them, Amazon. Amazon sells them in sets for much cheaper. So that's actually where I typically get the poly envelopes is on Amazon. I will leave a link to that down below and also my video talks all about that. Um, I also wanted to point out that we have even some more options at the Dollar Tree. I was really pleased with how much they had. So like this one is only one, but it, look at how sturdy it is. Like, and it's a little bit gusseted. So you could put a lot more in there. It's just way sturdier. Um, so if this was one that I was carrying around a lot or something like that, I would definitely use this one. It also has like this black edging. So I have no complaints about that one. This one, I would say is probably my least favorite. I do not like these zippers because they tend to break. That's just been my experience. So I really like the snaps as opposed to these zippers or you can think they're zipped and they're not and stuff can fall out. Um, but this is another option for you. And we also have the same as the clear ones in a red color. So if you wanted to get into some color coding, I would caution you though, like I always do when it comes to anything that is colorful from any store, don't count on being able to get it again. So I don't know if they're gonna have this red color again. That's why I like to stick with clear and neutral colors as much as possible so that if I need five more, I don't have to get a different color. Um, maybe it doesn't bug you to have different colors. It kind of bugged me, I'll be honest. This one's so pretty. I think my daughter would love this one. I'm probably gonna give this one to her um, to organize stuff in like her backpack or her church bag, or she has like a quiet time bin. Um, in the summer, we do quiet time a lot in their rooms and this could just really help her organize. I print stuff out for them all the time, also like coloring pages, um, so it could organize that. But I really think this is so cute. Um, and it would also be really fun, um, say you're organizing something for each of your kids, like you could give one kid this one and one kid another one, but I, I would also caution you, I would be willing to bet that if I go next year, they're not gonna have this exact print. So make sure you get all of the print that you think you're going to need. All right, let's talk about the canvas bins. This one is the one from the container store. I love these, these are adorable to use in kids' rooms. Um, but I, they also have these that are in all sorts of other ones that you could use for adults as well, not just kids. Um, I will also say for a similar price, I get these at Target as well. They have some good canvas ones. Um, 
This one is very sturdy. Like this is a very thick plastic in here. It does collapse and fold nicely if you'd like that. Um, the size is another huge difference in these two. So you can see how this one is shorter. Also, if I'm lining them up in the back, you can see how this one is also deeper. So you could obviously fit a lot more in this one, but what I care about even more than that is I have those cube shelves. Um, the most popular is the Calyx line from Ikea, and I have a whole bunch of those in my house. Um, I think there's tons of knockoffs of those as well. And in the Calyx, this fits in perfectly, like it was made for it. Like you can still get your fingers in there to pull it out easily, but there's no wasted space. Whereas this just looks almost like, what it, could I say, puny in there? <laughs> like it looks like it wasn't made for it. There's just all this extra space around it. Um, and I don't think it looks quite as nice. I will also point out that this one is way flimsier, like this material versus this material. Um, just this one is much, much more flimsy. Um, I don't know how much that matters. I don't think that bothers me a ton. It might depend on what you're putting in there. Like if I put in a lot of heavy stuff, this one would be a lot harder. Um, this is like a soft canvas and this is more like a rough, I don't even know what to call it. It's not a canvas. I do prefer this material, but I have no problem. I mean, this one's fine. Um, this one also um, has a handle on the front, which I think is kind of nice, and these don't. Um, I haven't found others, so you could like pull it out by the handle. Um, but this would be nicer, I think, not in a cube shelf. Um, it also does fold up, so I will show you. Um, it has this little piece in the bottom, um, and then you could you stick it right down there, and you fold it. So it folds up pretty neat for storage, just like this one does. Um, they both do that pretty well. I have no complaints about that at all. So, you know, for this one, I would say there's not a clear winner. This one is definitely a lot less expensive. And if I was not putting it in a cube shelf, I, I don't see any reason to splurge for this bigger one. If I am putting it in the cube shelf, however, um, I think it is could be worth the splurge on, on the bigger one that really fits perfectly. And also I would point out as with everything, this was my fa personal favorite design at the Dollar Tree. I wish that they had had like a solid gray. I would have preferred that more. And they certainly don't have like these really cute animal ones available there. So you're gonna have to live with whatever design they have. And as always, I think I've probably said this multiple times in this video, never count on being able to get this design again. Maybe seasonal, maybe not. Maybe they have it, maybe they don't. So make sure if you want them to match so you get everything that you're gonna need versus these have been at the dollar, not the Dollar Tree, the container store for years. And I feel like I could get more of them or if I need to replace one, I could easily do that. Next up, we have letter trays. This is from the Poppin line at the container store. I love these. I've had these for years. First of all, the Poppin line has like really bright colors that I think are fun. This is like an on-brand color for me. Um, you can see I have one, two, three, four, five of these here. So they maximize space. There's no wasted space. Like you can fill these with paper. They're very sturdy, like very sturdy, um, which I love, especially for paper. You want something strong and sturdy. Um, and then you can go as high as you want. You just keep adding to them and you can just have however many you want. I also, I've not done this yet, but I think it would look really cool and I intend to put white vinyl labels right here. So I like that they have that smooth spot where I could put a label on it if I wanna know like what these different things are. Um, I have this right above my printer. So like there's some printer paper in here. Um, this is like the top tray is always my inbox. So, like whenever mail or just papers come into my office, I like to corral them in one spot. Um, so this is the poppin. Um, now this is like almost a direct dupe from the Dollar Tree. So each, you buy each one of these individually. Um, so each one of these is $1.25. So four of these is uh, $5. So you'll see one of these, I, I think I actually really like this. Um, it has these little holes right here. And so what you can actually do is like, it really nests in tightly. So like I fit these into the holes and so it's not going, they're not gonna come off of each other. It takes a little second to do that. Um, I give them like mega bonus points for doing that. I hate it when things like this, like I feel like it's gonna fall off. So they're very sturdy, very sturdy. Now, if I turned it upside down, I don't know what would happen, but it's, it's not going anywhere. I love that um, about these. Um, I feel like you can fit the paper in nicely. The one 
difference that I would point out. Obviously the look is a little bit different now. I appreciate that these are in black, so a neutral color. I don't think that it's, you know, distracting or anything like that. Um, however, I have five trays here. This is four trays and look how much taller they are. And there's also just a little bit more bulk. I feel like they look bulkier. I don't know that they necessarily are if you can see that. Um, but somehow they just feel bulkier. Um, and also there is no like solid place on the side where I could label them. And obviously they don't come in like the fun bright colors. This is a cheaper plastic, but I still have no complaints about it. So, you know, if you have the space and you like this look, I would totally go for the Dollar Tree ones because you're going to save so much money. Um, I also found a couple of other things that you could, that you might be able to have as dupes from the a Dollar Tree because this was at the third Dollar Tree that we went to. It was not at the first one, so we had to search a little bit for these. Um, so I just want to point that out. So at the first couple, we found this. Um, this, I thought, oh, maybe this will work for paper. However, it does not. Like, it curls the paper. So I just wanted to point that out. If you're looking, like, this is not, I mean, I think this could be used for something, but it's not good for paper. Um, so then, enter this guy. Now, this fits paper pretty well. This is just standard size paper. Um, what I would say about it, however, is obviously it's not gonna stack. So this would just be like, if you want one inbox, I also probably wouldn't keep this out on like a counter just cause I don't think the look is terribly beautiful. Um, so I probably like put it like either in a drawer and you might think, why not just stick it straight in the drawer, but then you could take it out. So like, say you have a drawer in your kitchen that everyone passes by, put it in here, grab it out when you're ready to process your mail or in a cabinet or somewhere kind of hidden away. Um, so this is an option if you just want one and you don't want them to stack like this. All right, so this one I'm gonna flip it around and I'm gonna show you drawer organizers from the Dollar Tree and spoiler alert, I actually like these better um, than the more expensive versions. They are thinner plastic and they're more flexible and I love that and I just have no complaints about them. So I really do uh, like these and I've used these several times in my drawers. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about what is available at the container store. So let's start with these. This one comes in a set of three for $1.25, two for $1.25. They also, I don't think they had these at our Dollar Tree when we were there, but they have one that is like half of this width. That's kind of skinny, more like you could put like silverware in it. Um, so those are your kind of options as far as sizes go. Um, I'm not aware of any other sizes of these that they have, um, but you could make nice um, arrangements in your drawers. I'm gonna take this little sticker off. They're also taped on the other side, so they're a nice, good set. Okay, so what you could do is set them side by side like this and they match up very nicely. I love that. If you know me, you know I like things to be truly modular and to be like even when you do that. Um, so it's just a great way to organize your drawers. Um, one difference between this and like the acrylic sets at the container store is that you don't have quite as many size options. You definitely have more size options um, from the acrylic sets at the container store, but you're gonna pay a lot of money for that. So if you don't mind not quite dividing everything up quite as much, I think, I think you should go with these. Um, then I just found lots of other cool designs that I wanted to show you. Um, so these are like a three tier tray. So, I mean, that can be really cool. I, I even think these like having the acrylic look now, I don't think it's acrylic. It's a very, it's a pretty thin plastic. I don't think that bothers me, but you can have these out on a desk and have like colorful binder clips or paper clips or something like that. Um, so I think these are really fun. Okay, these I had not seen before. Um, this is really neat. I mean, I give the container store like bonus points for doing this. Um, I haven't even seen anything like this at the Dollar Tree. Look, it is like adjustable. You can make it this height or width, I don't know, or all the way out to here. I mean, that's pretty clever. Um, and like, if you're going across like a skinny bathroom door, you can make it fit perfectly. So I really think that's nifty. Um, I'm impressed. I haven't tried these out myself yet because um, I just found these, but I really like that. They also had this size, so you have like a smaller size um, as well. Let's see. Yeah, you could make these, like you could kind of make them modular. Um, like this. Now these will cost you a little bit more than these because it's one item for $1.25. Also, I'm a little bit impressed. Um, this is way sturdier than I was expecting. Like this feels like a fairly sturdy um, plastic. So those are pretty cool. I also like the colors that they're black and white. Um, they're not like the bright greens and reds that you sometimes see. 
Then I found these. I was pretty impressed with these. I think this is the only size I found. So again, you're gonna have to be happy with just this size. But what I liked about them, this is a pretty firm plastic. They have these very nice rubber feet on them. So like they're not gonna slide as much. It's gonna protect your surface. And then inside they have this like, I don't know what you call it, plasticky, soft uh, place. So like, I feel like if you set something like paper clips or tape, it's not gonna roll around as much. And I also think the feet are gonna help keep it from, if you're putting it in a drawer, a lot of times I put museum putty on the bottom of, of things like this so they don't um, slide around as much, but I think these might not slide quite as much even on their own. So I think these are pretty neat. I also loved the color, white and black. And then if you want to put a label, like if you had them on a, on a skinny shelf or something and you want to put a nice vinyl label, that would look really pretty. So I was pretty impressed with these. Um, I definitely think if you have drawers to organize, it's worth starting at the Dollar Tree and just seeing what you can find um, before you go splurging on like those expensive acrylic organizers. Um, this comes in a set of three. I'm kind of laughing because I think their color choice is a little bit interesting. Um, I don't know why they did not put three of the same color in a package. If, if it were me, that's what I would do. And also red and green looks kind of Christmas and then the pink is like totally random. I think if you just had the red and the pink, you could almost call it Valentine's Day. Um, and the pink almost goes with my shirt. Um, so really don't know about that. Um, but they did not ask me. Um, also, the, what's unique about these is like they literally hook into each other to like keep them together and prevent sliding around. Now let's see how hard this is to hook in. Okay, well let's see if I can figure this out. So one problem is like they kind of get squeezed a little bit um, because they're not very like sturdy and then getting them to slide in, I'm gonna tell you is not the easiest thing I've done in the world, but actually it's not too bad. Oh, and that's pretty sturdy. I mean, they're not gonna slide around too much. I love that. Let's see if we can hook the very last one on here. Let's see what we would have here. I mean, a lot of these things I feel like should be used in a classroom. Like, I just feel like I should put like crayons in here and start teaching. Um, I don't know why I feel that way, um, but like this would be great. Like I could see this like out even on like my kid's craft table for like the pencils and stuff that they use every day, like erasers. Um, tape, I mean, I don't know if this is your kids, but my kids go through tape like nothing else. Um, like we really have to even ration the tape. They just love tape. Um, and side note, I can never find tape. Um, like that is something that like feels like it has legs and walks around our house. But I kind of really like how they stay, like they're not gonna separate from each other and they would fit really nicely in a drawer. So I really do like these. Um, I really wish I could have just the pink though. <laughs> I really like that pink color. Um, I think that is really pretty. Next up, we have these handled baskets. So these clear ones are the ones from the container store. I'll let you see they have a handle. And these blue ones are the ones from the Dollar Tree. Now, I will also say for these, um, these actually handled baskets for the container store are not all that expensive for the container store, but you're still, these are still gonna be definitely cheaper than these. And if you were getting a lot, that would start to add up. So keep that in mind. Um, now, one thing that's really interesting is that the Dollar Tree ones are actually larger. Um, so if I, um, I, I've got them lined up here at the back, so you can see how they're a little bit deeper. They're just slightly taller, so they're a little bit larger. Normally, I would think, well, isn't that good? Like, they're gonna hold more. However, the one downside to them being larger, and I do not understand the Dollar Tree's reasoning behind this, um, they definitely didn't consult me, but this fits perfectly in a standard upper cabinet. So you can close the cabinet completely, grab the handle. I love, love, love these for um, the higher upper cabinets. So we have really tall ceilings. So some upper cabinets that are really high and I'm only five foot four, so it can be hard to reach. Um, so I can just grab the handle and like pull this down and get to it easier. So I love that. The problem with these is they are a quarter to a half an inch too deep to be able to fit in a standard upper cabinet. And I've tried these in like four or five different houses that I've lived in. They really truly do not, like you're not gonna be able to shut the cabinet all the way. And the closer you get to the hinge of the cabinet, the more it's gonna force it to stick out. Um, and I really, I, I really don't like that look when my cabinet doesn't close all the way. So I don't know why they didn't make this just a smidge shorter. And then I would say like, no way, should you spend your money on these, go for these. Now, if you're not putting them in an upper cabinet and you're just placing them on a shelf, like maybe a shelf behind me, I've used these in garages, utility rooms, I just don't see any reason to splurge on these. Like, these are perfectly adequate. I think these are a smidge sturdier, but I still feel like they're both pretty sturdy. Um, 
I, again, I love the handles. I just see no reason not to go for these. Um, I don't hate the blue color. I kind of like it. Um, I would say I slightly prefer the clear color, but they're both fine. Um, this comes in just a tad bit more than these. These are a little bit more straight up and down, but they're not too far off. So for these, I would call it, this is the winner if you're not putting them in upper cabinets. And this is definitely the winner if you want to use these in your upper cabinets. If you love getting organized and organizing bins like I do, but you don't want to break the bank, I have an entire playlist on budget organizing and Dollar Tree organizing. So go ahead and click below and check out those videos.